one of my few mod showcases. There are very few mods I get excited enough about to do a showcase about, but today we have found one. Um, about a year ago, I went searching for an Aragon or Inheritance or Shurtigal mod, and I found a forum that spoke about a Shurtigal mod, but I think the latest update for it was 1.4 or 1.5, because the person that was in charge of it uh, had said that he didn't really have time for it, so he was leaving the project. So, uh, after that, uh, one of his team members, uh, a gentleman named Wizite, uh, said that he would be taking up the project. So about seven months later, it's finally done. Uh, Wizite's project was taking a while because, uh, as I can sympathize, real life got in the way and he was quite busy. So it has taken a while, but as soon as summer hit, he got to the runway with it. And uh, it's it's been coming out pretty fast, and he, they're working hard on it now. And uh, this is the Alpha 1.0 release of the Shurtigal mod. This is probably one of the most exciting mods for me in a while, and uh, you'll definitely be seeing me doing a series from it soon. And as this mod updates, we will we will update with it and do more showcases. But for now, this mod is pretty basic. Uh, it doesn't have too much stuff in it. Uh, if you're familiar with Aragon, Aragon means dragons. However, the Shurtigal mod does not currently mean dragons. Uh, the big thing that this update uh, well, the, this initial release introduces to the game is steel. So what we have is steel helmet, chest plate, legs, and boots, the whole steel armor. We have a steel sword, and we have a steel battle axe. So uh, we have two new weapons. Well, I guess we only have really one new weapon, but uh, we, we do have a steel sword. But we have one completely new weapon. They're adding battle axes to it. I hope that not far behind battle axes will be a hammer, maybe roaring hammer. That'd be pretty cool. And then we have a whole steel array of weapons. So it's pretty, of uh, tools. So it's pretty cool. It adds steel to the game. And, and lots of people always wonder, you know, why is there iron and coal and not steel? But uh, the Shurtigal team has fixed that and we now have steel, which is pretty cool. Uh, so you can see they are just like normal weapons. It looks like it's pretty freaking strong because I just killed that sheep in one hit. Okay, these are really strong. Let's spawn something in. Let's see. We'll spawn in a skeleton. And we'll see how strong these things are real quick. Alright, let's see. Uh-oh, he's burning. He's burning. Okay, let's spawn in something that won't burn. How about a, a creeper? There we go. Creepers won't burn. There we go. Alright, uh, it's about uh, two, th three hit kill to kill the creeper with that. And then let's see with the battle axe. One, two, three. Okay, three hit kill on a creeper. So not too bad. Uh, not exactly... Uh, perfect but it's good enough for us now as you probably saw in my inventory the armor does have a problem it doesn't actually load on your character yet so uh, as I said before this is alpha 1.0 this is the very first release of this mod in its very early form it only adds a few items this isn't it there are more items and we'll get to them in a second but it doesn't add much so uh, you know don't expect don't think like this is the final product of the mod because it isn't but let's go ahead and look at the other stuff. Uh, what we have over here is dragon scales. Uh, these are pretty cool. Uh, I'm not really sure what they're going to do. Uh, obviously, uh, in the old mod, I played it a little bit. Uh, and when you would kill a dragon, ooh, that's bad. when you would kill a dragon, you would get its scale. So I guess uh, that hopefully that'll be the case. In, well, I guess not hopefully, but it will in reality be the case in this mod. Um, and so we have that to look forward to. I don't know exactly what the scales would do. I think maybe you'll be able to make like the ancient swords like Brzinger and things like that with them. And that'd be pretty cool. But uh, we'll have to wait and find out. And of course when the mod comes out that will show us, uh, we'll take another look at it. But there's the scales. Uh, right now they don't do anything. And uh, pretty much they're just to look at. <laughs> and they look pretty nice actually. So They actually look like, like petals or teardrops or something. They're the tears of the fallen dragons. That's kind of sad. Okay, so we got all those. They're pretty cool. Um, also, we have a few new things. Um, let's get out of game mode real quick. We have the same old stuff. Here's the pickaxes. Let's see how fast they are. Oh, they're not very fast. Not very fast. Ooh, they're really, really not fast and cool. So I, I brought another one with uh, Efficiency 5 and Fortune 3. The enchantments do work on the new weapons, the new tools and everything. So we can just pick away at all this. 
no problem. So uh, iron coal, uh, see it has fortune 3 and it, it's multiplying the coal. And so what you use with iron and coal in this mod is you can actually make steel with it. Now that's kind of complicated. So what you do is you take iron, put it in the crafting table, and you get iron chunks. You take coal, put it in the crafting table, and you get coal chunks. Now what you do with that is you combine the iron chunks with the coal chunks, and you get steel chunks. And then what you do with steel chunks is you throw them into a furnace, like so, and you get steel rods. So you pull out your steel rods, and then with those, we can make some steel ingots, like so. Uh, we'll need a bunch of them to make everything, but that's basically how you make uh, steel ingots, and that's one of the big things that this mod adds is steel uh, it adds, of course, the dragon scales, but the dragon scales don't do a whole lot at this point. So uh, then you can craft. All the crafting recipes are down in here. They all work. Let's go ahead and look at them. Uh, we have a shovel, pickaxe, uh, a hoe, an axe, I think a battle axe. Yep, battle axe. Uh, let's see, sword. There's all the weapons. And then we can also make all the armor too. So let's see. We can make a chest plate. We can make a helmet. We can make pants. And we can make boots. Oops. So there you have it. We have uh, a whole steel array. We can turn iron and coal into coal and iron chunks. We can combine those to make steel chunks, which we smelt down into steel rods, which turn into steel ingots, which turn into armor. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all this stuff uh, right into this chest. And then, uh, so as you saw before, the steel uh, armor, it doesn't actually load uh, an image on your body. However, it does give you uh, nine and a half armor, armor points. So uh, there you go. Uh, 19, I guess, really. So it gives you the armor points even though you don't see it. So it is effective. It works, but you just it, there's no image for it loaded on your person yet. Uh, so there's one more thing added to this mod. Uh, what happened to my pickaxe? Uh, there it is. All right, one more thing added to this mod. A completely new ore called bright steel. Okay, and bright steel mines pretty easily. Let's see how easy it mines in comparison to the iron. It seems like it's the same speed. Okay, so bright steel seems like it's about the same speed. And unfortunately, at this juncture, bright steel does not do anything. So you can take the bright steel ore, you can put it in the furnace, and it makes uh, bright steel. But it's kind of useless at this point. I'm sure that they'll do something pretty cool with it. Uh, in the in the uh, books, bright steel was sort of under trees, is where it was at, where you found it under ancient trees. And uh, so I think they plan to do that on here, but they just haven't had time to code that in and figure it out. But that will be coming up in a new update, and of course we'll have that in a showcase to come, and you guys will get to see all that. A few other things, it adds a tab as well, an items tab, but the items tab is empty. Uh, he hasn't really, they haven't figured out a fix for that yet, but that is the item tab for the sure to go mod. Uh, right now all the tools and stuff just show up here. There's the weapons and the tools. Uh, I think that... Oh yeah, the skills were over here too. So that's pretty much all that this mod adds. Um, in addition to that, uh, it was a pretty easy setup. All it took was the latest Forge 1.7.2 um, to set it up. And then I uh, just dropped it right into the mods, loaded up my Minecraft, uh, piece of cake, easy, easy, easy. One of the easiest mods to set up for sure. Uh, and in addition to that, I do have several mods working with it just to show you. I have Optifine going with it, so Optifine does work. However, you have to load Optifine in your mods folder. You cannot uh, load it as an internal mod. Uh, you need to actually drop it in and use it through Forge. So uh, that's the only way that that'll work. And then there's a few other mods I even have. I have Bibliocraft working, and the reason I tried to get Bibliocraft working is because I wanted to put the armor on a stand but as I showed you before, the armor on a stand that doesn't work because the armor on my body doesn't work. And basically the stand just uh, creates a body uh, for armor. It makes a pseudo body. So uh, that's what the armor looks like on the stand. So uh, yeah, so we have uh, Bibliocraft working with it. Um, 
Oh, and we have one more mod. Uh, we have crafting guides. So I have my crafting guide here so I can look up all the Shurtigal stuff. So a few mods do work with it. That, those are the only mods I tried. Every mod I've tried with it has worked so far. Uh, don't expect a whole lot of mods to work with it just because it is brand new. It's off of 1.0, so not everything is going to work with it. It's not going to be terribly cooperative because when you make the first version of a mod, of course, you're not quite concerned with its compatibilities yet. Uh, but it is good to see that it's naturally compatible with Optifine because that's a big one. I definitely want to see Battle Gears working with this so that I can carry a Battle Axe and a Sword. Uh, I'll probably try to put Battle Gears on before the next uh, update. And uh, there will be more showcases of the, this. This is Alpha 1.0. Expect updates to come soon in the future. I definitely do. And I think it looks pretty cool. I'm pretty proud and props to the Shurtigal team for what they're doing so far. Uh, I'd love to see what they're going to do with it. Uh, just so you know, uh, the steel, of course, you can make it because all it takes is iron and coal. So you can make that. Your armor will look sort of silly. But bright steel does not spawn yet. The scales do not spawn yet, and that's pretty much it. There's nowhere to find these because they're drag and drop. So the only way to get them in-game is to actually uh, go into creative mode. So for now, it's just basically a bunch of images for us to look at. And hopefully in the next update, there will be a little bit more interaction and things like that. But it will be a while before it gets to be a mod that you can really play with and actually do things with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this showcase. Um, if you would like any tutorials on how to install the mod like I said it's super easy but if you're having a trouble trouble figuring out I would be glad to make a tutorial on that and if you want to know how to make Optifine work with it or Bibliocraft or any other mods I'd be glad to to try them out and uh, make a tutorial for you anyway I'll see you guys uh, on the next Shurtigal update see ya